Okay then, this is going to be a video of my new Gent by Honeywell Vigilon Compact Fire Alarm Panel. Um, this is a new panel, unlike the old one I had, which is here, which has just got all the my stuff stepped on it, like the, the back of the call point, because otherwise the call point wouldn't fit in this back box, so I've just popped that off temporarily, just for this video. Um, Okay, so this is a demo board, and the panel's screwed onto this bit of MDF. I've got a call point on here and a sounder as well. The call point is my only addressable device so far. I do have um, a detector on its way, and then I might be getting some more stuff from somewhere else. Um, that person knows who they are. That all depends on if I have any money in my bank, <laughs> which is always a good start. So anyway, this is the loop, and it's loop one. It's one device on loop one, believe it or not, which is why there are two wires going into this call point. That that one's loop in, and that one's loop out. And this sounder here is on the master alarm circuit, which is the conventional sounder circuit on the panel. So that has an end of line resistor in it. That doesn't because it goes back into the panel. Um, I'll just show you the panel's wiring quickly, and then I'll need to power it up. Okay, then. So that there is that. Offboard PCB there, that's the loop processing card, the LPC. That's running version 4.17, which, if I remember rightly, is it can't handle the new S4 range of devices such as S quads and stuff. It, I think I might be able to get um, these style sounders if I'm lucky and possibly some of the old detector only S quads I'm not sure that's obviously something I'll have to try at some point but anyway there's a loop wiring here on this block I'll just pull that block off there loop in and loop out I'm not sure if you can see the text on the board because it's a bit dark but yeah, loop one Might have been put in a relay contacts. And then obviously the master alarm circuit there, and that's the power supply display board. And then that there is for the commissioning tool, which I'm unable to get hold of. As the way Gent do their licenses, they only give the commissioning tool out to system integrators, part of their twin uh, Gent 24N network that they have with approved system installer people. So yeah, I'm unable to get hold of the commissioning tool, which makes it a lot harder. But I can. I can get it set up and running, so I just need to power the panel up. Right. Just cancel the buzzer. So it's now going to allocate allocate loop for one. We should hit. We should see that flash in there. software version 4.17 it just clicked I'm not sure if you hear that pop that was the little relays oh now the panel's done it Leave different map on loop one at device one. Previous on loop equals not set up. Battery disconnected. Right. I'll just do a display test to clear all that. 
Okay then. So I have three faults. Let's just view the faults. Uh, display events fault enter. Okay, so got an open circuit on one of input. Battery disconnected and recover failed at card one. That's not an issue. We can just reset the system for that. Cancel buzzer. And we'll quit the menu as well. Okay, so this is basic um, bog standard user menus. Um, basically, I can't do a lot. Well, I can because it doesn't have an engineer's code on it. I can actually. That's my own custom code. But I can get in and I'm not going to show any of that stuff because. I'm probably not allowed to show that. Alright, I'm back. Sorry about that. The phone crashed out. So yeah, I'm not going to go into the engineers menus because obviously they're for the engineers, not open to the public, which is why you can't get hold of any of the gent software for the panels. So obviously they don't want anything like that to be disclosed, so I'm not going to disclose it. Sorry. Let's just light the screen up. Um, this is the one of the older models. You can tell because it has the blue. It's a blue screen, not the green. Well, it is greenish, but it's more blue than green. Unlike the newer panels, which have a, a proper bright green, like on an intruder alarm panel, bright, bright green screen. Uh, right, what am I going to do? I'm, uh, so I'm going to set this off using a test key. Um, that sounder will activate, I'll silence the alarms using that button there and then obviously yeah so 3, 2, 1 so first fire is a call point number 75 on loop 1 the reason why it says it's number 75 is because this has been safe addressed, which means that you, it's been safe addressed and this call point thinks it's device 75 on the loop, because obviously on the system that this call point used to be on, it was device 75. So as you can see, the call point LED will flash to indicate that this is the zone that caused fire. And also, when the when the alarms are sounding, the panel will make a high-pitched beeping noise. So if, if there isn't a sounder near the panel, I, you'd be able to hear that the panel was making a high-pitched noise. And then obviously when you silence it, it makes a low-pitched beeping noise to warn you that the system is still in fire condition. So it comes up with zones 1 on the secret LED thing, which isn't very secret on the compact, I must admit. Um, it's showing fire. Nothing else, no faults apart from the power fault, which is good, we like it like that. So now I'm just going to reset the system, I'm just focusing on the screen, just cancel buzzer, buzzer cancelled. Um, what else can I do? I can do find device, so I'll just do that, loop, find device, right, find device on loop one start and we'll start at device 70 because obviously I'll be going through a long time so obviously if I go through to 75 that'll flash if I go to 76 it stops 75 74 Quit. Just quit out of that. Um, um, if if I do just quickly go into the menu that I shouldn't really go into, there's tests, and then there's a blank space here. But if I just put this on, I'll, I'm not going to show any of what I've just put on. 
obviously to protect the system but now we have test and commission so that I can get in and commission the file so I can sort of set it up in a sense I just need to turn that off again I'll just do a quick display test And that's it really, that's just a basic quick video on the panel. Um, the panel's clicking its relays because I've allocated the system with end two of the loop connected, which you're not supposed to do. So I'll, um, I'll just power it down now and leave it until I get some more devices. I should be getting a 34770 um, optical loop sensor sounder which is um, one of the old style heads um, you'll know it when you see it uh, so yeah that's it for this video if you have any requests be it on the Vigilon or the Xenex system then please request them and I'll get around to doing them at some point when I'm not busy also, um, while I'm here, a bit of news on System Test 21. It is on the way. I haven't forgotten about it. I've just been having a few difficulties with the system lately, um, with wiring. So I'm just in the middle of getting all them sorted out. And then I will be able to bring it to you. So I'm aiming for either the end of October or midway through November for that to be out. So yeah, have fun, thanks for watching, bye.